Hi Sunshine, welcome back to our channel. I'm Taylor Ann. And I'm Lorianne. And, and together, together we, we are Mac Curls. And welcome to another Mac Curls video. This is actually part two of the video um, that we just did um, of showing you what stayed what after stayed. our big declutter yes. last summer. We've often been asked what we kept. What we kept and because we got rid of so much. Yeah, we felt that showing what we kept is a very clear telltale sign of the things that we use. Not to be confused with our end of the year favorites, okay, or lack thereof. Right. This is just the stuff that we kept that we reach back for. The ones that made the favorites video are the things that we consistently reach back for. There's these are the things that we retained after the declutter, whether or not we're going to use them. We most likely will. We do. Um, it's just so much. Like, you couldn't get rid of everything. So we just wanted to, like, you know, like I said in the other video, that when you have, um, what did I say, um, something in your closet and you haven't worn it in a year, then you know that that probably can go. Um, and so we're thinking, like, after we the big declutter, if we haven't used this, you know, maybe for the next declutter, maybe these will be some of the things that will go. But these are the things. Yeah, they they, like, they stayed for that declutter. Yeah, so the first video that we did, you showed some of your stash because, like, these shelves here, like, um, are basically my stash. Everything right. I use. When we did our massive declutter, um, you took all your stuff out. So, like, all your favorite right. brands, all your products. Because, like, if we get sent two sets of products or if we have two sets of products or whatever, um, you took yours out of here. So, you had to bring yours in here yes. for this video. So, you're going to show the rest of what you have. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the rest of my shelf and a half. Okay. And, um... If this is your first macros video we are chatty we just sit and we chat and we go on tangents and um, we just talk products and hair mm -hmm. and something just, that could be so simple as us just kind of like categorizing what we have as products no tell that simple with us we have to you could say we have this 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 we don't we don't do it no, we don't do that we, 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 we live the experience why we got it where we got it how we use it do we still use it how often do we use it yes um, and so it's just um, you comment on my chatty. products I comment on your products which makes this process like exactly. even longer exactly so um, sometimes yeah. I'm like so surprised like oh you still have that as if like I don't know anything about your people life say you do. they drive and put us on and listen to us in the car they clean their house to our videos they cook <laughs> dinner to our videos breakfast lunch and dinner they get dressed to our videos they do their hair with our like <laughs> our videos are so long like you can do an activity right and listen to our video watch our video like because our videos are that long so i like awesome. chatty videos um in the genre that i watch i watch crime see we're we're off and running i like like to watch true crime videos I hope they're not going to demonetize those anymore because that's getting a little sketchy, that community. I don't know if they're shutting those down or not. But anyway, back to the, um, what is it called? Programming? Back, back, back. back to the um, program at hand. Or program. Whatever. Yeah, okay. <laughs> back to whatever. what you were saying. Yeah, okay. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> <laughs> that you like chatty videos. I like chatty videos. I do. I like lots of detail. I put we'll out videos. This part two right after part one. So just know when we said like we literally clicked the camera off and clicked it back on so we've mm -hmm. already been talking for an hour mm -hmm. part two of our videos are always kind of sketch and weird because we've already been talking a lot yeah just so you know um i like videos i put them on and i go to sleep to them and i just like the familiarity of the of the team that i might be watching or, or the channel you know the of the influencer mm. or um their content whatever i'm just familiar with it and i'm right. like okay i want to go to sleep and i look anywhere from like 35 to like an hour or mm -hmm. something so i'm like i can put it on and i know by the time it's over i'm sleeping mm -hmm. and i like long videos yeah i think it depends on what it is whether mm -hmm. i like a long video or not but more times than not i like long videos especially yeah. vlogs i love long vlogs but Mac Pro Sam. Like that has been with us and stays with us knows what to expect yes and we often see like oh goody like a 40 minute video oh goody like an hour video oh yeah. my gosh yeah or sometimes we'll get the y'all talk too much yeah like, yeah people I'm like don't oh know this us. person's new yeah Welcome. yeah people that don't know us and want to give us um constructive criticism yeah. about how our channel could flourish your channel could be better you could have more subscribers if you talk less we don't know how don't know how to uh okay. all right all right back to the products yes so who's starting I don't use that. Okay. So, uh, TGIN, I tried them in 2019 and I liked what I tried. So what stayed was definitely their masks. Those stay on my shelf. They're kind of in the back. The whole TGIN, this, this white line here, this, uh, Miracle Repair X. I love that line so much, especially since 2019 was the year of like hair breakage and stuff for me. Yes. So shedding, all that kind of stuff. And so the, the, the Miracle, uh, Repair X line, 
um, some of its benefits says like anti-shedding, anti-breakage, that kind of stuff. So I really kind of got into it. So I absolutely, I love the serum, anti-breakage serum. Um, the strengthening shampoo I was using that stays. The conditioner in that line. Basically the entire Miracle RX line is here. Why is there oil on my hands? Slap it, get on your dress. Slap it in my hair. Right. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah. Okay, no, it's just a shadow. Ooh, girl scared me. Okay, okay, I definitely got salsa on this dress today in the back. So you can imagine what that looked like. <laughs> um, red salsa. Um, <laughs> Uh, what else? Oh, their um, the TGI in their rose water curl refresher. I believe they rolled that this out in 2019. I think because they came out with like a milk, a mousse. It was a milk? What was it? Was it their honey line? Did they expand their honey line? They had like a honey gel. Oh, uh, why didn't we put that in our video? Maybe because we never did a video on it. You mean the that one disappointing products? I was very disappointed. We got oh, we okay. got their new stuff. It was their like it was a milk. It was a mousse. And it was a honey gel, I believe, or some sort of custard. It was like a honey custard because they brands always see like what we like. Like they come out with um, great products, like the honey. Hold on, sorry, I'm gonna grab it. Okay. And then they expand it. Like for example, Alka Naturals. Everybody loves the lemongrass leave-in, um, so they expanded it to an entire lemongrass line, which we right. said was kind of a flop. Um, same thing with TGIN and their Honey Miracle line. Yeah. They added a mousse, a milk in a custard and i didn't like any of them at all mm -hmm. um i couldn't get i tried the the mousse with the custard the custard with the mousse the, the milk with the mousse like i put it all different ways mm -hmm. and i just did not like those products again it's the madness of the natural um hair brand where they just i feel want that coin so they feel like something worked like this worked amazing amazing and so now they're going to try to capitalize on that yeah. but that in that form worked but it doesn't mean that everybody needs a whole line same you know? thing with which is here shea moisture mm -hmm. and the manuka honey and mafura line they came out with a milk a gel and a twisting butter bust it bust it and bust it i like the like, gel but i wasn't familiar with the um that that deep yeah. that you guys all i mean overall about. it was kind of a flop yeah, like they weren't yeah. as spectacular the, the products are never as spectacular as the original deep conditioner right. or the shampoo and deep shampoo conditioner yes. deep conditioner of which like the line originated yes. and then they try to put out a whole bunch of stylers and it's just kind of a disappointment right and so um yep I yeah. hear you on that one. So totally. this is still the best product. This is what stayed. Everything else went. Yes. Um, but um, what I think is better than this, and I love this, is the Miracle um, Repair X, the deep hydrating hair mask. So the mask in this line, I think, is just a notch better than this one. So I think there's Literally. just something... There's a little well, something extra in here. turned us on to the whole line, right? Right. This, okay, the Honey Miracle. And we did a video on this, and they saw, and they sent us some products, and so they sent this line, and I apps, I think this deep conditioner is better than this one, and this one is amazing. This one is amazing, and it's oh my gosh, it smells so seventeen dollars, but um, because they even look similar, don't they? Yes, they do. But this one smells okay. So good. Yeah, so it's kind of like white, but they're both amazing deep conditioners really are and there's yeah. even a um this smells really i think good. i think you might have um or maybe it's in there i didn't put it on the shelf but they they have a this is the moisture one in the line and they also have a protein one because you need both moisture and protein okay. in your hair routine um yeah and then this is the curl food which i started doing braid outs with which i like it's the only way i like this i didn't like the curl food as a wash and go or a moisturizer or whatever else um i did do it with a braid out though i enjoyed it as a braid out oh. looks like a smoothie yes it's quite um it's quite heavy. It's quite yeah, thick. It's not it like is. a butter. It's um, it's like a very thick, thick cream. cream. Yeah, we're the same person. <laughs> very thick cream. It's like a very thick, like wet kind of yes. cream. It's very nice. To yeah. me, it kind of feels looks like looks and feels like a strawberry berry smoothie. Maybe it does. And um, you said it's you like do braid outs with that. Yes, I could picture myself just doing what I just did now. Well, did I, I did it. In the other video, the other video, her hair was combusted. Now it's looking sickening. Yeah, because she refreshed it. In yeah, the other video, the other video, at, like she demoed like, towards the end. I demoed how I brought my very, 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 very dry side. It was very dry. This side is dry, but this was even drier. And so I showed how I could um fade up oil because we just go off the rails. Well, I go off the rails. Go off the rails. Nice. Let you go off the rails because you know. Hey. All right. right. So there's that. What else you got? Okay. So let me see. All right. So let me just kind of like in, in, a, in a cumulative effect. Let me just kind of like show the things that are that really don't fit in any particular category. In the last video, I 
raved about we that and the things that I would be keeping so like I'll go back to that video but I forgot to mention this this is a spectacular oil and this is the Manganko oil all Manganko. oils to me are not created equally mm -hmm. this is a very special lightweight kind of oil that just gets the job done so I love this so this mm -hmm. is as you can see it's almost gone. I've gotten this over and over again. Even a subscriber one time got it, didn't like it, sent, and yep. sent it to me. And sent I was it. so grateful because this is like a thirty-eight dollar oil. I yes, think. it I is. I could not believe that I was gifted with that. Like, oh my gosh, it was it was Karen. Karen girl. Karen last name. I I see her face. I, do. I see her picture. I do. Karen. It was Karen. 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 Say it, like, you know, come in the comments. You know, Karen, Karen. Karen. Yeah, that was it. We can't remember it. Like, you know, you know, um, Lori. I want to say Johnson, but it's not. I don't think it's no, Johnson. Was it, Karen. Was it no. no. Okay. It's in my messenger. If I had my phone here, Karen. I would be able to. Oh, it's gonna bug me. Reeves. Reeves. Yes! Karen, Karen Reeves. Reeves. Yes. yes. So she blessed me with this. Ah, and I we love got there. <laughs> Couldn't believe it. Okay. And so on top of this oil, another one of my favorite oils are the Moroccan. And this is my favorite oil, like a all time I've been using this for years since I think when I first went natural and not the very first moment but um in my first journey of going natural like, towards the end and I was going to the salon so this is the same salon and the other video that I talked about that I got all the brand new products Ogle Ogle only glow only glow whatever but this was they always have something new and unique that i want to try and so Mor Moroccan oil I always say the blue one everyone it's, a, it's an argan oil but this Argan oil by Moroccan oil. This smells so good. It smells so good. And this oil is just, it's different. It's its thick, whereas this one is kind of like light and airy and kind of like melts right in. This just, I don't know. It doesn't sit on your hair. I don't know. I just love, I can't describe this oil, but I love it. And I'm so To glad. me, there's a difference between an oil and a serum. Like, even yes. if they call that an oil, it more has a feel of a serum. This like, you have yeah, like oil, I think if you put it in your hands, it's going to slip through. Like, that's oil. Okay. But, like, a serum comes out thicker. And I prefer serums. Like, okay. That, see, that the way that's, like, kind of rolling around in there, yes. if you want to pump it out, it's going to be, like, thicker. Yes. Like, okay. But oil, like, when it's straight up oil like this, you pump in your hands, it'll slide through your right. hands. Right. This is an oil. Okay. That is more like a serum. It's, like, thicker. It kind of moves, like, yes. thickly. Yeah. Through, like, even if it's called an oil right like um i think for curl mix they call this a serum to me you spray this in your hands gonna slide through your hair you have to slide through yes. your hands this is an oil to yes. me, even though they call it a serum you, you, you gotta be right with that one because my next um selections in here i use this oil because it is so thick i never even like really kind of like thought of it that way but it's so thick they actually call it a treatment that i definitely will be continuing to use these igk mixed feelings for those that got busted highlights and your highlights are orange or copper and you didn't brassy. intend for them to be they're extremely brassy which um i thought that they were mended and i think they were much better than what they were um i don't know they come and go but um when they go this is what i use so I, for years they had out the IGK. These are called Mixed Feelings by the line. Again, a very high-end kind of like Salani kind of line. Found, found in like Sephora's. Mm -hmm. What else is it found in? And probably on their website, right? Yes, I, seen it I think it's. Else. I think you can walk into Sephora's, and I believe their website. Yeah, yeah. So this has been around for years. There's a video on our channel for this, and this is for when your um, highlights are going. Like I said, very copper, very orange. Highlights are meant to be very ashy and very kind of like yellowy blonde. And my highlight job from the summer was extremely orange, very, very orange. It was getting worse and worse. Like and the so, color of this, yeah, it was pretty bad. Yeah, like it was so compared to that to this, like yeah. you can see where they were toned. Yeah, but these were not what did it. I tried everything at the time. Nothing. They were too far gone. Sometimes you just have to go back and get them redone. But in the meantime, I'm seeing them now, kind of like to me, like kind of like going astray again, slightly. Maybe not as bad as they were, but. For jobs like this, this is just a very easy thing to take care of. I will definitely put this in my hand and it's thick enough. And then I will squirt either the purple ones for when you want um, the, when you have blonde highlights. Or sometimes they say when you have light brown hair, then you use blue ones. This is their brand new product. Mm -hmm. And this is Mixed Feelings. And this is for, for brunettes. brunettes. So when you get your hair dyed brown, sometimes it tends to go orangey, copper. And you want to kind of have that, like, that nice ashy brown um, light brown, kind of like honey blonde, like kind of like look. Okay, when they start going copper, then this kind of will rain them back in. It's along the lines of the 
purple shampoos, the purple conditioners, all of that. Um, but these are with your stylers. You mix these in with your stylers, whereas the shampoos and stuff, you rinse them out. And it, they still do the job. But I just thought this was a, a unique thing, and I love it, and this will always be in my lineup. So these are my kind of unique products that um, are at the... Oh, oh, yeah, and then I think you were just talking about oil, so let me just throw in my whole, my favorite line. My favorite. I think you did the other video, mm -hmm. um, Curls, um, Curl Mix, and Curl Mix. You explained in the other video our situation with um, Curl Mix. I'm get, I keep getting mixed up with Curl Smith. Okay, <laughs> Curl Mix. Yeah. All right, so my favorite um, are the gel because that's what I, shall yeah. I say, raised. Now, this is when they first came out, very first came out, and we were influencers for Curl Mix. They came out with the gel did the job perfectly loved it yeah and, and then you know as all brands do then they start um doing other things and so then the next thing that came out with was the avocado moisturizer works just as good if you want maybe that little extra moisture you've tried the um what do you call that reverse wash the reverse go. wash and go because yeah. how when this first came out the avocado moisturizer they say put this down first mm. and then you put the gel over it you put the gel down first and for some reason like you felt like if you put this the moisturizer down first it flattened it Yes, is, um, I felt like the hold was too soft because like the moisturizer yeah. was down first and like that gel, like I couldn't get that, not that cast, but like that hold from the gel that I wanted. So I figured, but I also wanted the moisture from the moisturizer. So I put the, the gel down first. So that's like the first thing touching my hair and I can get that hold. But then I also want that moisture, but I don't want like that much moisture and like softness. So I put that on top and I find it's like the perfect wash and go. And that's what I have in my hair right now, but I have it for the unscented line. So gel down favorite. first moisturizer on from day one has always been the softening line and i know we say gel first moisturizer next moisturizer first gel next we have a video on our channel where i think the boys do our hair mm -hmm. and adam didn't know what to do he was like why do they all look alike he, he was so confused and he was just grabbing one bottle after another he after was another. pumping them both he was and he didn't know yeah. and that day i had the best wash and go so now I just don't care. I almost like squirt them both together, mix them I together. I was doing that too. Yeah. So once I'm yeah. done with my reverse wash and go, I feel like I need more. Like I'll pump both of my hands, yeah. rub them together, and just like, like add more yeah. in. I like, found yeah. personally mix for them me, together. I speak for me only with my experience. It doesn't matter what order I put these things in. It's the same nice, bouncy, soft hold. Um, uh, I mean, the defined, soft. Your hair soft. Your hair is defined. I mean, they're fabulous products. They're absolutely fabulous products, and we love them. My favorite is, again, the green. And so, and but this oil, once again, is an oil. Okay, this is not. I'm dropping all this stuff, girl. Um, this is not. Like the Moroccan oil, where it's like I'm a serum. Though I have tried and succeeded, I put it in my hand and put it in my mixed feelings, and um, it works. But you got to move quickly. Yeah. Whereas with this other one, you can kind of like mix in your hand and take your time with it. This one, I got to move fast. But for those yeah. people who may not have seen the first video, just so you know, because like we've, if you've been here before, um, whenever we mention curl mix we always say like we have a code macros code 20 percent off we've had it for at least like i think like two years now mm -hmm. um we no longer have that code starting january 2020 like our code no longer works with um curl mix like mm -hmm. for no other reason like then like no influencer codes are working i guess anymore so um our code went with everybody else's code um just so you guys know um because whenever we mention curl mix like we always flash on screen like macros code or you might just know in your brain that right. you know uh I can use a Mac Curls code if I want to get Curl Mix. Um, our code does not work anymore. So right. That's that. So that's that. All um, right. All right. So back to the show. Well, okay. <laughs> um, so uh, we did. I showed that in the other video. Um, and so I like squished over here. Um, oh, Be My Curl. So I have Be My Curl over here. We have a video on this as well um, from Curls on Fifth, um, which is a salon in new york joe Boro. we met him last year or the year before was it last year it might have been last year i think it was last year yeah, um last year. 2019 um but anyway he is a he has a salon and he does natural hair um love their instagram definitely follow the curls on fifth instagram just for curl inspiration like he cuts all hair types he in his stories every day he's always showing like his work um, all the haircuts he does, all the different colors of hair, types of curl, from the kinkiest of hair to the straightest of, like, wavy, like, whatever. Like, I love watching his work, like, on Instagram. But he came out with his own line, and I think his products are fantastic. I love this little trio set. So this is um, Be My Curl. This is the deep conditioning mask, the, um, the gel, and then there's a leave-in curl primer. And so, like, mm -hmm. these as a set, fabulous wash and go. Yeah. So um, definitely love his products. So those stay 
on the shelf. Yep, you reach for those. Next to Diva Curl um, is also here behind you. Okay. Um, okay, here. here, I'll, so, I'll yeah, move. Like quite a, yeah, okay, yeah, you have quite a bit of things from Diva. Yeah, so, um, what's there? Okay. So, yeah, Diva Curl, um, Diva Curl be leaving one conditioner someone must have blown the electricity <laughs> there goes our heater um diva curl one condition um i have the decadence line which i don't really care for you like the decadence i line? love the decadence line that's my this. favorite no poker i want that oh um, <laughs> left in it just a, just a dust collector because there's nothing left in it girl, girl oh, you want the what you want the what is this that's um, the that's the decadence one condition and the no poo look at i'm decluttering guys oh okay yeah. Right into my stash. Right into your stash. Okay. I'll back up. Um, no, I'll pass. Are you going to pass? I'll pass. Okay, so I have some decadent stuff. I don't really care for the decadent line. I like all the original stuff. Okay. Um, I have the light defining gel, mm -hmm. the ultra defining gel, the deep sea repair, the original, the no poo, the styling cream, and the super cream. Um, the... It's getting late. Mm -hmm. I'm getting tired. Um, <laughs> the, the Diva Curl Diva Fresh. Did I like this? Uh, which one is that with Mr. Wright? Oh, I think I like this. One I think the smell was a little strong, though. No, I don't. I didn't like the Mr. Wright. Okay. I got rid of that. Is this so, a... so the Diva Curl Refresher, the Mr. Wright, um, I tried it. I didn't like it. They came out with Diva Fresh, the Scalp and Curl Revitalizer, but I think the smell was a little bit strong. Okay. But the product worked good. It was just the smell that was too strong for me. Yeah, it doesn't smell like their, their, their typical no, smell. Okay. I don't know what happened. It's like they're like, oh, there's a dash of floral. And then it went, shh. Like, it was way too much floral. Okay. Um, also, the Super Stretch Cream, which is one of, like, my number one Diva Yeah, I products. have that in my... Um, the Stretch Cream? The Stretch Cream. I love this one. The Heaven and Hair and the Melt into Moisture. So that's what's on yes. the shelf. I don't really reach for Diva much these uh, melt days. Melt Moisture. But Let me see that. But I know if... Oh, you were using it as a styler, weren't you? I sure was. You put it in just like as a one and done. Oh my gosh, I had the... the you sure were. Plumped curls. I love girl, that where's stuff. the product? Um, Gone, girl. Girl, <laughs> why do you leave this lemonade on the shelf? <laughs> well, it's empty. What am I supposed to do with that? Okay, give it to me. Can you take the oh, decadence too? Oh, it smells too? so good. Oh, why? Girl, okay, let's go. Okay. I'll just stay with the Diva friends. Okay, yeah, no, I love this stuff. Okay. So that's um Diva. I don't really use Diva um as much these days, but right. I know if I reach for Diva, I'm gonna get a good wash and go. Mm -hmm. So it just stays. I don't get rid of anything Diva. Okay. Except the decadence, which you won't take. <laughs> Even though they're both like empty. I right, want me to take them, I'll take them. Just throw them in my bucket. I'll okay. take them back. Okay, okay girl. Alright, so moving right along, um, a line that we got onto last year has become some of the products in their line has become some of my favorite products. And this is Honey's Handmade. Oh, yeah, Honey's. Very small black-owned company. Hunties. And they are expanding now. And so they have cute, like, little themes. So, like, now it's February or February, January going into February, Valentine's Day. Guys, have you seen all the Valentine's Day stuff out there? Oh, my gosh. Candy. So they have, like, Love. um, right. <laughs> <laughs> they have, like, a line, like, chocolate kind of like um nodding to valentine's day it's so cute so but anyway aside from that my favorite products are their sweet potato low pool co-wash <sighs> love this stuff it smells just like sweet potato pie love that it was part of her, the um her mom's anniversary collection or her anniversary collection um honoring her mom honor her, honoring her mom mm -hmm. so that was in that line i'm glad that it carried over where you can buy it individually and because i loved it and it came into like a 60 dollar box for the anniversary collection and then after that i'm like oh my gosh i'm not gonna be able to get it but some things went on um i never get this right did this go on this is my no also the aloe water hydrating that's what hair didn't gel. go on yeah i've raved about this over and over again and people are like oh my god you can't get it anymore and um i'm sorry about that but anyway love this <laughs> all right that's um i go very easy on it because i love it again it's a um Let's see how easy you go a glycerin free gel so i love that and um yeah, it's pretty easy it's almost gone <laughs> I know. it smells good and then this is my favorite this is like i i said in another video the old-fashioned jergens lotion smell this is the cherry almond that was the smell the cherry almond it's a cherry almond tapioca co-wash so they have lots of co-washes in the honey's handmade line and um, and these happen to be two of my favorite. There's so many other ones, very unique fragrances and stuff, but mm. these are my favorite. So it's a cherry almond and the sweet potato. And there was other 
thing. Like they bring everything in here. Probably not this other like standout things, but I couldn't bring everything in here. But check out Honey's Handmade um brand. It's great. Can't really speak towards the shipping, but you know, people are growing and expanding and they're doing the best I guess they can. And so they explain that. That's why they're like kind of glowing growing. I got a great big um email today from Sotanicals apologizing, explaining what they said was they're not doing it next year. They're not doing Black Friday. They were overwhelmed. Um, wow. She got very ill, physically sick from the experience. She um, over-promised probably. Um, it's kind of like I'm summarizing because she didn't say that everybody read the email. Anybody that ever bought from Sotanicals, she sent everybody an email and she explained the debacle of Black Friday this year. It was just a madhouse, and she's doing the best that she can. So I mean, again, I can't imagine if you don't have a team, or at least not a huge, like, mm -hmm. large team. Like, yeah. like I think Mayel has, like, their own, like, humongous Mayel warehouse. Like, really? they're just that kind of brand. I'm sure Main Choice does. But, like, if you're a small black-owned brand and, say, you get, like, 3,000 orders with, yeah. like, maybe 20 people on your team, if you're lucky, like, yeah. that's a lot. Yeah, she gave numbers. That's I don't remember a lot. when you say 3,000. I don't know what the numbers are. but Yeah, numbers... that was just, like, hypothetical. Yeah. Like, can you imagine that? Like, yeah. say each order mm -hmm. has, like, 10 products in it. Like, that's a lot. And then she felt bad for those that couldn't make the Black Friday. Remember, I was, like, like joking about it. I'm like, don't worry, guys. Relax. I said, because there's going to be Cyber Monday. And she did, and she felt bad for those that couldn't do Black Friday. So then she overpromised and did Cyber Monday and just oh became gosh. completely overwhelmed. And people are still getting their orders for Black Friday back I in November. I was overwhelmed with, with our macros mystery boxes, and I think we ended up doing, like, 50 boxes. But, like, yeah. that was just yeah. me, us, um, me, us, <laughs> two of us, like, the yeah. two of us, like, yeah. packaging and bubble wrapping and wrapping. And, like, it was 50 boxes. Each box had five or six products mm -hmm. in it. We had to bubble wrap everything, and, like, that was a lot. I and then you freeze, and then you yeah. freeze when you get emails and people either didn't get it delivered and then you can't explain it because it says delivered and then it didn't get and delivered then it's like, and well, then where is you it do? you didn't get it who got it yeah <laughs> and it's, it's just maddening so i can't yeah. even imagine a brand going through that and so it gave us compassion for brands at that point because it's just like wow like this but is oh hard God. this is hard and i think it can be handled very nicely and very respectfully unlike other brands that can't do that um shall we not go back to our um disappointing products, disappointing video. products video i addressed that very early on so excited to address it but aside from that um slight shade um so honey's handmade love them so much hearts, hearts. great people Great people, great people. Um, okay, we getting down to the nitty gritty. Oh, let me put this down a little bit. Um, is that too down? Is that too down? We're not, we're not feeling that. Mm. We're not feeling that. Okay, let's, let's back it up a little bit. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what's down here? Um, I'll start over here because I see one of my products sticking up over there. Okay. So over in this little corner over here is um, Cantu and Cream of Nature. So I got a little Cream of Nature Edge Gel. The Cream of Nature Pure... Cream of Nature... Let me slow down. Pure Honey Twisting Cream, which is like one of my... I would, I would say it's one of my favorite creams. That's one of my favorite Cream of Nature products, definitely. Um, mm -hmm. Love this. Great for a wash and go. Great for a one and done. Yeah. Definitely check out our video on that. Uh, I think we have two. We came back to give you an update on how the wash and go was. Yes. Did. Like, like a day three update. Okay. The wash and go was still looking sick of me. Right, can we go back? Can we visit that one? Or we can't visit that one anymore? Um, that's one of the ones we you don't watch. Okay. Yeah. There's certain videos on our channel that like personally, like for whatever reason, like we won't go back and watch. Like, <laughs> and we each kind of have our own that like, we won't go back and watch. Like I won't yeah. go back and watch the Curl Mix, our pure avocado moisturizer one because my eyeshadow looks <laughs> crazy guys so, she has an eyeball on top of an eyeball i tried to do a halo eye and it's just it didn't happen and so i don't watch that video yeah. because the makeup is so bad and, and um, then we have like a series of videos that i don't know we had like yellow backgrounds the whole time i think it was curly chic might have been one of them that kicked it off yeah and then it was that one it was like quite a few like yellow videos and i just had like this look on my face and you guys didn't know at the time what we were going through mentally Phys not so much physically, but like our life. In our, our life, personal life. In yeah. our personal life. And our life was turned upside down. Those that are brand new to the channel, go watch Our Truth video and explain yeah. it all. And then watch Our Truth update. Our Truth update. Yes, yeah, this year, a year yeah. later. Um, and so it was just a video that it's like cringe. And I think even in the comments, people were asking, you know, how are you guys doing? How's Lorianne? Like, are you Is she sick? Is she yeah. okay? Something's yeah. off with Lorianne. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, oh my God, I can't film anymore. Like, people are like, like, like they're um, exposing me. And, yeah. and I, I wasn't ready to come clean with like our situation. But like, people could tell like something was off. So like those series of videos, I think like you don't watch those videos. I can't watch them. Even though the washing goes are sickening. <laughs> washing goes are back. amazing. So if you can just, 
I mean, you probably some people didn't even notice, but many right. people who had been there from like day one, like, yeah. Mom, wake up, there's products when we were doing like Jane Carter curls to go video. If you've yeah. been there since that from that yeah. jump, or then you, you might have now. Yeah, you, you might know? have noticed. But right. I think like we were talking and like you know, and I, you would, like, throw it to me and look at me, and I would just be like, like mm -hmm, yeah, mm -hmm. like, you just, like, basically, like, snap out of it. Like, like why, why are you, you not, talking? You yeah. know, I, I take the conversation over and always talk more than I need to and give examples and yeah. all of that, and I wasn't doing that. I was just simply answering the question that was put before me. You weren't me. being you, and if people, like, know how you are in the videos, like, they were yeah, like, I always go roll, I always do something, and I was just, um, guys, I was just staying on course. <laughs> Okay, so there's that. Um, Cant yeah. 2. Back to Cant 2. Um, okay. So I kept the Cant 2 Coconut Curling Cream, the Cant 2 Define and Shine Custard, which my brother always gets a hold of. I don't know why. For some reason, this is like his favorite product, but he goes through all of my custard. I don't know why that is. His. I don't know why that is. He still does? Yeah, he calls it like my Cant 2 Bustard. I don't know why. I'm like custard. He calls it bustard. I have no idea why. Um, busted custard. Busted custard. Um, the coconut cream of nature. The co um, sorry, cream of nature coconut milk. The essential seven oil treatment. Love this oil. It's great. I love their coconut milk line. Period. Yes, it just smells good. Mm -hmm. So um, while I'm going in between cream of nature and can too. I, I hope this is not confusing. I always get those two so mixed up. This is cream of nature coconut milk line. Amazing wash and go. When you use them both together, you love this. I do. Um, absolutely. Those, that was, I loved it so much. Same old story, tell over and over again. Oh, girl, here we go. It was going to be my 2018 oh, favorite right. of the year yeah. and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, love that. <laughs> <laughs> Try to tell tonight. Um, we have uh, Can't To Curl Stretcher, which absolutely stretcher, stretches your hair. Mm -hmm. No idea how it does what it does, but um, it definitely does do something. It doesn't give you any specific instructions. It just... No, you put it in, leave it on your hair for three to five minutes, rinse with cool water. That's it? Mm -hmm. it and it stretches your hair? Your hair? That's why it stretches those bangs. <laughs> I mean, I'm just asking for a friend. <laughs> Did I use it? Maybe I forgot about it. Did I use it for my minute? I don't know. I've never used it. Like, how much stretching does it do? Girl, it just came from my soul. I like, <laughs> I'm just asking. Just yes, why did she done about those, those bangs? those bangs. Why did stretch those bangs? <laughs> Girl, you have a product here that's going to stretch hair. You know what? And you you never know what? I'm going to put this out so I can try it again. I'm okay, yeah, I'm very out. curious. Um, Girl, I don't know why you're that curious. I don't know why you're that curious. <laughs> Um, and then I also, um, one of my favorite Cantu products is the Cantu Complete Co-Wash. Lola, this is actually brand new. I haven't even used it, but I've gone through bottles of this. This is amazing. Mm -hmm. And then the entire Cantu TXTR line I kept um, because I was like, why are we getting rid of this? Like, I don't know. I didn't want to get rid of it. So. I and I have a Cantu offering. Yes. I, yeah, that's why I started with Cantu because I saw my offering over there. <laughs> I can't say it's one of my products that I like because you took it. I love this. This is the Cantu um, Moisturizer Curl Activator Cream. It's just a fabulous cream. Why do you have the super cream down here? I don't know. I used it the same year that we used the coconut line, and that was going to be like the contender for the best of the year. And then in the summer, we grabbed this and did a one and done video on it, and I absolutely loved it. And so in my mind, that was going to be two contenders. Okay, the coconut milk line and this one, which one was going to win for the 2018 favorite product of the year on the Macros channel. And then Alec came and blew everybody out the water. Mm. So, but I still love this, still reach for this. And it's a one and done product. And I love it. Yeah. That's it. All right. So next is some curls products, which um, I'm not reaching for curls on the daily, on the monthly, like let me just be real. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I wasn't getting rid of them. So I kept some Curls products. Um, all those gels that they came out with, those four gels that are basically all the same. Mm -hmm. um, right. <laughs> that uh, <laughs> was a little gimmicky. But I went out and I bought all the four gels. They don't look like this because I think I bought them when they, before they redid the packaging. They were going to drop them and then they decided to redo the packaging, which is whatever the packaging looks like now. But these were the bottles that they came in. You know, one's for wash and go, one's for a braid out, one's for a rod set, one's for whatever. Um, I have never seen them because they normally are sold in Target. I've never seen the brand new packaging. Have you ever seen? I, I saw it online on their Instagram and stuff. It's okay, there. like are they available, like accessible, like in Target? Because Target, they have, every, Curls is in Target. I've never seen those. I don't know, Curls isn't a brand I reach for, so I don't be checking, I don't be looking, but I'm yeah. in Target for Curls. You yeah. know, they're a great line, like, well, like, yeah, they're good. They're I so, like their, but uh, see, the like, Blueberry Bliss line is my favorite. That's, yeah, um, that's, yeah, I like the, that sea, that sea foam. Oh, yes, you yeah. might have that whole line. I um, do. The... 
the the green collection yes the green, the green collection. collection the green yeah. collection and their blueberry bliss line are their best i think these gels were right and the the cashmere and caviar was kind of busted yeah as i didn't well. care for that at all that some was people okay. do some people do though the gel i mean the gel was a cute wash and go the you gel loved was, the serum though yes i did and yeah. and the jelly i think those are in the box i think i kept those but everything else i believe i got rid of okay um uh yeah and so we have the curls like the goddess line the goddess curls we have a video on this all these curls probably if you type in mad curls curls like all our curls videos will come so we did these gels we did this orange line it has a leave-in with it um mm -hmm. we did blueberry bliss and we did the green collection um we have been recently been asked to do the pop and pineapple collection which came out like last year or the year before nah like we're not doing that right yeah i'm not buying that so we yeah. ain't doing that yeah. um if we haven't done it yet we ain't gonna be doing it right so um yeah they're very particular about their products and what how they want them presented whether yes. you buy them or not they that want escaped to have... the disappointing products or disappoint yeah, yeah disappointing yeah. of 2019 yeah, that you let little that story go experience but, um whether you buy them with your them, own many them or, dms didn't make the story but yeah or whether they send the products to you they have Girls. their hand <laughs> on you and they want you to present it a certain way and say what they want you to say and we were shocked that's why we almost came back with the burial. We yeah. were like, no, we left out a few brands yeah, and a, a few, few stories. brands that were busted. And I'm like, okay, we did the, 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 the favorites. We said we did the funeral. I said, now we got to do the, the burial. burial. Okay. I'm like, there's a few more things we need to mention. But, but girl, we were like, no. It was an ugly spirit. It so was. I couldn't do it. It was. No, but we didn't, <laughs> we didn't do it. But no, um, Curls was a little busted in 2019. They were. They were. Love them some okay. Love them some match. Nobody loved them more than us. Nobody in this world. Okay. Um, okay. It's, what's this? Oh, this is my Meech oil. Yeah, that's. Is that my um, amber bottle? Yeah, it is. When you took my favorite, like, Sally's one, and then you, <laughs> you said I, I replaced it, and you replaced it with this. Guys, this is quality. This is amber. This is an amber but bottle. Not, but it's not what I bought. <laughs> It wasn't what I bought. I bought the nice little fat one with the long spout. And then she's like, it's like she used it and she, you put, I don't know what in it. And you ruined it. And then you, so sort of a hair care product. And then you bought these and you're like, here, I replaced your bottle. I'm like, mom, this looks nothing like the bottle you used. Everyone, um, oh, oh, I hate definitive everyone, the nobodies, but people said that that was quality and that it, it, it protects the products. Oh, and I don't so want quality. Okay. <laughs> I want it what I had. <laughs> um, okay. What else? Are you done? Um, no, I'm not. Let me see. All right, what else do we have? Okay. Carol's Daughter Cocoa Cream. I feel like I'm hunched over like Quasimodo. Like, yes, I just we can't. are. Okay, so this is um, an offering that definitely I will keep in my stash. That these are things that are tried and true. I wish I had Carol's Daughter uh, Rasul, Clay Rasul. I think I turned a lot of people on to it. And however, I've never talked about it again. And everyone's like, do you still use it? You? Yes, I still use is it, it when I. Rasul, Clay Rasul. The Rasul, Clay, Clay Rasul, Rasul, Clay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, whatever. Love it. Very moisturizing. Works. Love it. Um, but I don't have it here because, you know, you know how sometimes you just get sick of buying? And so once it's gone, it's gone. So it's gone, so I never replaced mm -hmm. that. There's just, like, so many things that I can use. Like, it's very moisturizing, but there's so many things I bought on here today that are moisturizing. So I'm like, like the coin got to be saved somewhere. So I can't buy somewhere. everything. But this is still going strong. Um, and so I still use this. Let me see. Um, we talked about Meech. You talked about Meech, right? No. Oh, you they didn't? Can do okay. Meech. I have some Meech. Which, oh my gosh, praise the natural hair gods because I'm like running out of my Meech. And I was like, oh no, like I have to put an order in. But again, I was like, ah, oh, I don't want to spend money on hair products. But Meech is my favorite. So I would, I was definitely getting ready to throw the coin. And then and you then, found mine? How is it yours? Because companies send each of us stuff. I found a brand new one that's full. And yours, and you always loved the moisturizer, and I always loved um, the strengthening. That's why I have a full strengthening and an empty one, and you have an empty this and this. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't it sound like she was getting ready to come for me? Like, <laughs> you, you found mine. Like, but you're holding mine. <laughs> Wow, what do you know? Hmm. So, yeah, I love the Meech um, sharing Adult. Is caring. Sharing is caring. Their moisturizing one, amazing. Mm -hmm. Love it so much. You love the protein one. They're both good. You need both moisture and protein in your hair routine. So, yes. I we highly suggest, I'll speak for you, we highly suggest you. Meech. And I love um, their Meech. cleanser. Maybe in 2020, I'll get the name right. Meech. Their sulfate free shampoo. Very moisturizing. Oh my gosh. Um, I can even detangle my hair. Finger detangle with this shampoo. I love this so much. That's a big claim. It is a big claim, and I definitely can do it. I absolutely love this. So this was a great find this year, and the protein conditioner. 
definitely. So, so that is like the one I told you earlier on that I loved the um, Curl Junkie repair. Oh, okay. I, you know, I'm getting the videos mixed up because we've been sitting here for quite a few hours now and we did video I part know, one. I'm getting ready to speed talk mm -hmm. through these last products. I'm tired. Yeah. And now we're on part two. I'm over so it. In part one, I, I really highlighted Curl Junkie and I said that I love Repair Me, which is uh, my original protein conditioner that I just loved. I said, but there was, a, there was one protein conditioner that kind of eked this out. Though I will always keep this in my stash, but there was one that kind of like um, topped that this one just slightly, just eked it out just slightly, and that that was me, the protein, the strengthening one. Okay. So yeah. Um, what else do I have? Um, when I talked about allocate, I don't know. Did I talk about allocate in this video or the other one? Other video. Okay, so forgot about. What you mentioned? What you forgot? I forgot the um, the creme brulee. Oh, the creme brulee. Yeah. Of course. Wow. Yes. You guys were probably watching that video. Like, where's the creme brulee? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so there it is. Because I mentioned the lemongrass leave-in, and I mentioned the black soap shampoo, and all of the the re regular suspects. But I forgot the creme brulee. So okay, definitely creme brulee. So basically, the stuff on this bottom shelf, like I don't like, I don't know. It's just here. But, um, well, actually, let me not say that, because um, this <laughs> Lux Lux Curls is not just here. It's here because it can't fit anywhere else. But I love um, Lux Lux Curls. We discovered them at the end of 2019. Um, it's one of our subscribers' line, uh, Genesis Noel. So some products, amazing products, especially the leave-in. The Pina Colada Love Leave-in is my favorite. I get the most amazing braid out from just this one product. I love it. Even though I'll put this on, like, all of this part, all this hair here. And then for my roots, I will do... Um, this uh cotton candy jello in their line um just because it's like a jelly a gel okay. so i'll and do that is it a firm hold what kind of a hold is it it's like medium okay it's, it, but it's, it's it's a very light like watery product we did do an entire video on the Lux Lux curls but that's here they also have an african black soap shampoo in their line um there is a refresher in the line and oil so um that's here what's also here is uh jesse curl their deep conditioner, which saved me from protein oh. overload like two years ago. Absolutely love the deep conditioner. Yeah. This is the Jesse Curl packaging. So Jesse Curl products, love the deep conditioner. Mm -hmm. And the Spiralicious Gel is back here as as well as the uh, Refresher Spray. Um, yeah, I think this is just another Spiralicious. Oh, I think in their, their wash. But um, yeah, that's back there. I think okay. Bounce Curl is in there too. Oh, wow. Is that Bounce? Oh, is that you? No, it's not Bounce Girl. Nope, that's the cleansing cream. Sorry. No, it's not Bounce Girl. Okay. But there is a Bounce Girl in that box over there. Okay. Bounce Girl is here. It's just not here. Okay. Um, and then all my main choices down here. So the main choice, um, Tropical Moringa line. Your favorite lines are down there. Yes. Okay. The Tropical Moringa line is down here as well as the Ancient Egyptian line. So both leave-in and gel for these mm. lines, these main choice lines are here because those are my two favorite main choice lines. Okay. Oh my gosh. My nose. Um, this is actually still part of Lux Lux Curls. They have a deep conditioner. Okay. Um, the chocolate twisting butter and the curl defining cream videos on all these things um okay these stay do you have anything else or am i, gonna I have uh no i have let me see let's wrap it up okay nature's little secret we love that brand and so my favorite banana leave-in they have an avocado you talked about it earlier i know this yeah video so i guess i had one. everything but that but the banana you have the banana leave i have the banana leave-in okay. so this is my favorite one it's the lightest one and mm -hmm. it's my favorite so this will always be in the arsenal and i also pair it with this this is um glycerin free and this is glycerin free so this is a great combo this is curl junkie pattern pusher along with nature's little secret banana leave-in love that combo and i have um camille rose i mean i just love this i haven't always like talked about it maybe so much um mid to late last year but it's always there and maybe i didn't talk about it because i wasn't using it i was using other things but just recently i kind of like went back to what you know like when you're struggling and you're going through something you have to stop and just think okay when my hair was successful and flourishing what was what was doing that so i try to like go back to old favorites and um i went back to the creme restore and jansen's which is her uh, moisture max conditioner and it's so moisturizing that i felt like it always outshine the um what's that uh deep conditioner they have i'm sorry um oh my god algae renew uh, the algae renew and at that time i think it came in a bottle and it was so thick you couldn't even really get it out you had to like slam it and bang it and slam it and bang it and put a knife down there and try to scrape it out and all that and i said this needs to be a deep conditioner to me it far surpassed the algae renew and sure enough like you know about a year or so later i'm so glad so glad that they finally put it in a jar because that's where it belonged however 
they change the instructions with it as well. So it's 35 minutes, which is a weird number. You put it in your hair, leave it for 35 minutes. That part I didn't kind of like so much like because I used to put this in and then rinse it out and be done. Mm -hmm. But now they're saying like 35 minutes and I'm just like, you know, like when you're in the shower, you just want to put it in and like rinse it out. Yeah. Just wait your five minutes. 35 minutes, that means you have to get out <laughs> and wait, you know. And some, sometimes like I'm not trying to do all of that. So um, actually, I haven't done all of that since I've gotten it. So maybe I have to try to see if there's a difference mm. because I'm just going back with the old instructions because this is exactly the same ingredient for ingredient. Yeah, I have curl. I'm not curl. I have Camille Rose too. I, ha I just have the curl maker though. Okay. So I keep the curl maker gel in here. Oh, you do? Okay. Yes. Interesting. How'd you get that? Girl, I don't know, girl. Okay. Girl, I went right. and I took it, girl. You even noticed, girl. I did it. Girl. <laughs> um, I have some As I Am down here, the brown line, the, I have the As I Am, the smoothing gel down here, the curling jelly, and the coconut co-wash. Absolutely love the coconut co-wash. And then I also have the Long and Lux line down here, their conditioner, their strengthening shampoo, their smoothie, which I really don't like, but I bought a new jar. I don't know why I didn't give that away. I don't know. Maybe because, I don't know, we bought it, gave it away, and then I bought it again, and I still don't like it. Something about the Long and Lux smoothie makes my hair very, very dry. I have no idea why it's sitting back there. Maybe because I just, mm -hmm. I don't know why. I like when my hair is dry. Like, I mean dry, like, in um, a way that I like it. It yeah. might be. You never okay. tried it. I never tried it. Here. It's brand new. Interesting. Well, except for the one time I Did used it. Did we do it. a one and done with it? No. How are you supposed to use it? Like with a leave-in of some sort? Um, I don't remember. Okay. Well, I, I might have, have yeah, I'm, I don't remember. I think I both times I did it as a one and done, maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know. try this. My hair is dry. I have to try it. Yeah. Okay. Um, and then, um, yeah, then I have the, the grow wash. So the co-wash from that line. So I have the as I am. I have the coconut co-wash. I have the, the one for the scalp, which is like one of my favorites. So I love the coke. I think the one for my... Well, these are actually kind of two different things. When I have itchy scalp, I'll do the one for my scalp. And then um, the coconut co-wash is like just on a regular day. It's amazing. The grow wash is my least favorite, although the smell is really good. Um, I think they nailed it with the coconut co-wash. Yeah. As far as a good, just normal, like whatever co-wash, um, they nailed it with that. And then they came out with the Long and Lux line and that one had a co-wash in it. But I think the original coconut co-wash is better. Love the Long and Lux shampoo and conditioner favorite shampoo and conditioner yeah. in my life. That's so what I'm really gotten you into shampoo and conditioners. Yeah. I used to rave about shampoo and conditioners. You were the co-wash girl. And once you tried that, you really yeah. love that. And then I have some urban hydration back there in the dust. I see some Jamaican castor styling gel, some, I don't know why these, I don't know. Uh, urban hydrate. Yeah, this is the coconut daily moisturizer. Busted the house mess. I have some, um, Carol's daughter, the Prakashi Nectar line, the okay. leave-in and the gel. We have a video on that. Um, and yeah, these are just like some other just like scattered products. The Aunt Jackie's Don't right. Shrink Gel I use a lot in the summertime. Okay. Um, Uncle Funky's daughter. I kept, um, we basically got rid of everything but these two products from Uncle Funky's daughter. Yeah. The Curly Magic Curl Stimulator Gel and the Good Hair Styling Cream. These two together. Great wash and go. So these are the only Uncle Funky's daughter products that stayed. Yeah, video then, on our channel. I just have some deep conditioners on the side. The Shea Moisture, Manuka Honey, and Mafura Oil is hanging out on the side because there's no room for it anywhere else. Okay. But other than that, that's basically it. And then I have a whole entire bin. Yeah. It's not that big. It's pretty big, but it's like filled with products that are just new and products that um, are used that I didn't want to get rid of. But like some of them are like backups, like when I need backups of my refresher spray, wherever that refresher spray is, um, where I found, I just found my Meech where all my curl mix backups are. Um, so it's basically just a lot of backups of my favorite products. So anything like here, Diva Curl, there's some backups in there. Um, okay. It's basically what, what the box is. And then there's some stuff in there that um, is used, but it just didn't like make the shelf. I'm not grabbing it every day. I'm not grabbing it at all because I haven't opened that box since. Okay. Yeah, I have a box. We decluttered. I'm, I'm not sure what's in it, but, um, but it's not the one, guys, when you go in, remember, you go into my closet and you turn left, okay? That's the box that when, I use. When you turn right? The other one, the, other one, the pink one, went straight ahead. Oh, straight ahead. I don't know what that is. Okay. Um, all right, and then last but not least, we were probably like, where the heck is Sultanical? It, it's here. Um, and these are some of the things that I keep in the box when you go in my closet to the left, um, I have basically a, a, too many products to even begin to speak about, but these are the standouts for me that I will be continuing to use throughout the year. This is that rice 
water. Um, what is that? The, the, the sprout, sprout follicular rice, rice tonic. tonic. Okay. Sprout people were like tonic. basically boiling rice and everything all last year with the whole rice tonic thing. Um, but this is fantastic. So strengthens the hair, all of that, and I love it with the sprite sprout sprite sprout guys. Right. We're hanging in there. Vitamin butter shampoo. I love Sotanicals butter shampoos. This is one of my favorites along with what else do I have over here for their shampoo? Um is this the healthy yes and the mega greens butter shampoo they have an ayurvedic one i have it um but it's not like my favorite so these are the two i interchange with i love these for butter shampoos very 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 moisturizing and you can detangle anything with these i mean melt melts melts in your hair and then you spray this on and you don't have to leave it on um overnight or anything like that the moment like it gets into your hair it starts doing the job and you can rinse it out like 20 minutes later so i really like this it's really kind of like helped strengthen my hair some of my favorites also are of course the afrotastic i don't think this made our favorites this year because simply because i didn't bring it down i forgot yeah I or it was in the box you didn't see it or something but you're like oh yes. my god i forgot afrotastic i know like oh. there's so many things we felt like we had to do like a favorites video over again and we had to do the burial don't forget but then we we're just like okay what's done is done all right but people that know me know i love um sotanicals and afrotastic so afrotastic is in this box and also i have i got on to this fro despair vitamin hair repair this reminded me of who was the other one? Oh, you know what? It was um Honey's Handmade. Is it Honey's Hand Honey's Handmade? Honey's Handmade. Oh, my, anyway. I'm thinking of the handmade handmade still. I'm like, am I saying the right? Okay, Honey's Handmade. They had a deep conditioner that wasn't going to cross over, but I think it has since crossed over. Um, but at the time I didn't think, so I was panicking and I needed to find something. And I had this all along on my shelf and I never tried it. You know, you, I just got swamped with sotanical things. You can't try everything, but I reached for this one. I love it. It's so unique. It has like, like that green look to it. It's so healthy. I love it so much. It smells so healthy. So I love this. So this stays. And where's my other, there's so many. I mean, sotanicals, I didn't have a lot of success with their stylers. I just don't. But their deep conditioners, I have said time and time again, they nailed it. She nailed it. She nailed it. She nailed it. I love the deep conditioners. Yeah. Hopefully they want to Same thing with like styler. Honey's Handmade. Like start, if you're looking to start Sotanicals or Honey's Handmade, start with the cleansers mm -hmm. and the deep conditioners, the treatments. Yeah. Start with the treatments and the cleansers, both lines. Like, right. Those but are like, maybe for those our are like, hair type. Maybe it's like, yeah, other maybe. people might have other, like, you know, okay. experiences. But for us. But I mean, they're just amazing, like, period. Yeah. Like, I mean, yeah. Yeah. I think you should start. I mean, some lines, like I said, with mm -hmm. Curl Smith, start with the uh, start with the cleansers and the treatments. Right. Some lines, just their cleansers and treatments are better than their stylers, and that's just on um, period. Right. So, right. Like. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And so another one that's my favorite is the Manoy Moisture Slip Deep Conditioning Fertilizing Dip. In my closet, I saw the Healthy Hair one, which is in the red jar, which is like kind of like carroty color, orange inside. But um, I didn't bring it in. I can't bring everything. But they're deep conditioners. That's where you start with Sotanicals, in my opinion. I love Sotanicals deep conditioners. Love them, love them. Um, and and then they're um, they're butters. They're they're co wash, so to speak. Okay, I love those. So that's what's in here at the end. And then of kind of like off the rails one for me is this Shea Moisture. Oh. Love this. This is a hydrate and repair protein power treatment. This is the protein treatment that showed me that I don't have to do FOG and dye and fry my hair. You know, when you fry and bake it in your hair, it's like it could be break it, it could break off because you have to blow dry that protein in. This was so effective to me, I could not believe that my curls boined back. That's how I know proteins work in my hair because my curls get that definition and that boing and it's like that elasticity and they come back. And when I use this for the um, amount of time that they suggest, it worked just as good as when I baked in that Afogee. It was like an all-day experience. And this just is like a standout protein conditioner for me. So this is one of my favorites along with uh, Mish and along with my um, Repair Me by Curl Junkie. Those are my favorite protein conditioners. Okay. So these just stick around and are always in my basket in the bathroom. And I think that ends my collection. That is of it stuff. for these videos. We have more products. I was going to say, let us know if you want us to show more. I don't think we're going to show more. <laughs> but these are basically the important ones. I love the chattiness of it. Like the laid back chattiness. Yeah. Let us know if you guys want us to show more. Let's show not. more of like what exactly? Like, I mean, you still have another box in your room. I have this box over here. Yes. 
but this is just like the important stuff. These are the things in 2020 when we said we're going to try to do like less tutorials because we want our, the health of our hair to come back yeah. and flourish and I want my hair to, you know, I didn't appreciate it the year I got on the channel and my hair was growing back from a big chop and um, and I would go get it cut because I wanted kind of like that chic look and every time I turned around my hair was like back growing again and then all last year I felt like it wasn't growing and then I'm just like I wish I appreciated when it grew the way yep. it grew. No, I'm appreciating my hair. Yeah. 2020. Yeah. But period. Like I totally yeah. am. Like so. it's, I think it's, it's getting back to where I wanted to get. Yeah. Especially with my bangs growing out. Like that's what I want. I want to just be able just to wash and go my hair again and go and yeah. I'm, I'm like at that point so I'm appreciating everything. Anything yeah. and everything. All I'm these like, different like, highlights and um, all of this cutting and all that. Like we are. Nope. I'm gonna just free stay my hand on all of that just to see what my hair can do for it for 2020 yep. yeah um I'm not gonna neglect my ends if I have to get a trim but that's that's about it right just on yep. the ends that's yeah. that's about it though that's it guys um what should they hashtag if they made it this far in the video oh my gosh like I'm alive right okay <laughs> hashtag I'm, I'm Are you guys hashtag, awake yeah hashtag I'm still here right if um, you made it all the way to the end of this video yeah we appreciate you guys and our chattiness uh comment down below some videos you might want to see in 2020 we're brainstorming we said we want to we're going to do natural hair but we kind of want to do other things on the channel so just comment down below some things you might want to see yep. um and yeah i think that's it give this video a thumbs up um because we talked for 56 minutes straight did we in this with one? no breaks in this one yeah so we all we always get comments you should edit your videos like no we just we say no. what we say and it all gets posted we no, don't i don't have no time to edit that's why we're very careful like literally i just have to take this clip stick it in the thing like boom mm -hmm. there's the video yeah. like i hate that you know i never understood what editing was when i first came on and i always felt like people were hiding things i hate to see cuts she doesn't cuts like skips cuts. i'm like what did they say why do they have to cut that out like what did she do like i don't like that i'm, I'm a very i hate anonymity okay and so whenever you go someplace and people want your opinion and they're like you don't have to sign your name to it no i want to sign my name i want people to know it was Lori and wesley that said it i want to take credit for my work so i hate that that when you're watching something you keep seeing this cut and the cut and the cut and the jump and the skip i'm like what is that you're like mom's called editing i'm like but what did they say what did they take out like, <laughs> i hate that like it really bugs her like it does. so i try to keep it to a minimum on our videos like we really don't edit a Everything lot like I we say, definitely I have edits in, in some of our videos but um yeah. for the most part we talk straight for yeah. the most part yeah don't um, cut out a word i say girl <laughs> sometimes i have to cut out some words you say i'm like no ma we can't post that you cannot say that you can't say that on the internet like you can't say that <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching our video and we shall see you in our next video we'll see you in our next video all right bye, bye.